Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're going to be redoing the tortoise pond and the red foot enclosure. Um, I have already torn out the pond liner that I used previously. Uh, I was not happy with the job because, I mean, it just looked kind of bad and I feel like we could do things better. So I tore it out. Um, I am saving it. I'm planning on using it for uh, passive barriers for future tortoise houses. And so here we have the hole that's uh, already dug out from when I dug it for the plumb liner. And if you have any extra wiring or mesh screening, I do recommend using it. It'll give it a, a lot more strength and rigidity. Also, if you have rocks or gravel, I do recommend adding some as well. Now, this isn't going to be a particularly deep pond. Uh, it is going to be rather shallow, but uh, these are tortoises, so they're not really going to be swimming around a lot. So as far as supplies, we have our mixing tub, our concrete, our play sand, and some decorative beach pebbles. So let's get started. Now once your concrete is the consistency of cake batter, we're ready to place it. Now before we do, we're going to take our area where we're going to be placing the concrete and we are going to be spraying down everything. We're going to be settling all the dust. This way the concrete really sticks to it and if you have these rocks in here and they're really dry, they can actually suck some of the moisture out of the concrete, uh, therefore weakening it. So we want to avoid that if we can. Give this place a nice spray down. All right, we set the concrete. All right, so we finished the pond for today. Uh, I do want to raise up the walls just a little bit. It's actually a bit too shallow. The dark beach pebbles are definitely going nice with the uh, color of the concrete here. And I think once we raise up the walls around it just a little bit more, I think we'll be all set. Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're gonna be hanging out with some tortoises as well as updating you guys on the Redfoot Pond situation. Um, I did tear out the old pond liner and replaced it with some high strength concrete. And I think it looks 100% better. So I have the pool behind me here. It's uh, now concrete. Now when you're working with concrete, uh, you want to gather any excess pieces of cinder block or rocks, uh, wire, metal mesh wiring. Now with these concrete ponds, you want to wait at least 48 hours before you fill it with water. Um, after you're done setting the concrete, you're going to want to keep it moist and obviously keep your tortoises away from it as well. But the finished product is definitely 100% better than the pond liner. Uh, the tortoises seem to enjoy it. Now the importance of a pond in an outdoor tortoise enclosure has many benefits. It not only hydrates them, but it also provides them a way to cool themselves off if they're a bit too warm. Did I find it? <laughs> now we have the Burmese stars out today. Uh, I do have the two new males. I've decided to name this one Jim, uh, short for Jimothy. And the other male, um, still drawing a blank. So what I'm thinking is to get you guys more involved. So let me know if you guys have any ideas, if you have any name suggestions, um, comment down below and I'll pick the top three and we'll have a poll to decide his name. And that about wraps up today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed the content and have a great day.